Let's say we're happy with the still render. Now I'll talk about how to render a turntable. So if I go back into Maya here, I'll leave all my settings alone for now. Um, with the exception of the name of it, I'm going to call this motorcycle um, underscore render pass. But I want this to be in a new folder called turntable. So here I'm going to do this turn table, and then I'm going to do a slash. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a folder called turntable. So it's not going to override the other ones. Um, and then this time I'm going to have it set to um, name underscore number dot ext, and I'm going to have it frame one to seventy two. It's going to be 72 frames to get the full rotation. And I want to make sure that it is the perspective camera, which is this view. Perfect. And I'll leave everything else alone. So now if I go into Harley, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave the lighting alone and I'm going to actually rotate the bike itself. Okay. So I'm going to go into my, eh, let's see, I'll go Maya Classic. Okay. And now here it is, I'm still in my perspective. And at frame one, I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna press S as in set key. And then I'm gonna to go to frame 72. Actually, I'm gonna to go to frame 73. And then I'm gonna rotate this and I'm gonna type in 360. I'm gonna right click on rotate Y and go to key selected, okay? So what that did is it blended it from here and you can see that it's starting to rotate and it's going to make a full uh, 360 degrees once it gets to frame 73. Okay. Now I said I want only 72 frames and the reason that I did that is because I don't want frame 1 and frame 72 the same. I want those to be different values. I'm going to right click on the timeline Playback speed, real time. Okay. Now, if you notice at the front or at the beginning and the end of this, it slows down. Okay. So to keep it even, I'm going to go like this. Window, animation editor, graph editor. And in the graph editor, I don't want it to ease in and ease out. So I'm going to make this linear. And now that should make the timing of the turntable perfectly uniform. Perfect. Okay. I'm also going to uh, kind of zoom out here and look at, try to keep this in the shot the whole time. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm liking that. I like how it's seamless um, with the other frames. Okay, now, and I think this is kind of a, a little large. Um, so maybe in the render settings, um, let's see, maybe instead of HD 1080, maybe I do this HD 540. Okay, uh, significantly cut down on the render time. And maybe I'll um, eh, maybe I'll leave those alone. Um, notice I still have AOVs in this, so I'll kind of look at. Um, well, maybe I'll only this time. Maybe I only want ambient occlusion. So maybe I push these back. I don't care about that, but I let's say I do want the ambient occlusion still. So um, okay now. If I, once again, my render settings, TIFF, you can see it's turntable, motorcycle, um, render pass, frame one to 72. Okay, and perspective, great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save this, file save scene as. I'm gonna call this um, turntable. Now, remember, 
you have to do, even on an image sequence, um, you're still going to have to do the render batch render. Okay, so if I go to um, make sure I'm in my rendering menu set, and then I'm going to go render, render sequence. I cannot go to batch render, otherwise I'm going to get the watermarks. And if I go to render sequence, it's going to tool, this is what's dictating what it's going to render. So frame 1 to 72. When I do render sequence, what's going to happen is that it's going to render in this view. Okay, I'm going to see it here. It's kind of like a, I don't know, kind of a hack, I guess. And you're not going to be able to close Maya until this is completely finished. So that's kind of annoying as well. I'll go ahead and do it anyway. I'll hit render sequence and then I will probably stop the video here and then the next video we'll, we'll see our results. I'll just go ahead and get it started. And when I can see that this is uh, loading up, I can see that, that it's working. And what I normally like to do before I kind of like let this render, because this might take, um, you know, close to 10 hours to render. Um, I like to look at the images here and I like to make sure that it's working as I think it is. So I can see that it's going to go into the Maya render slash images slash turntable. So Maya render images turntable. This is where it's rendering. Um, it should be giving me two, the beauty and the ambient occlusion, which I can see that it is. And I'm just going to kind of be patient here and wait for that to finish. And then I even like to open this up, like let's say in Photoshop or After Effects, just to verify that everything is working properly. And if anything is not working properly, um, I would hold down Escape to cancel this render and correct it and then start it again. There's nothing worse than letting this render for several hours and coming back and not having anything to even work with. And another nice thing about this is that I can dictate or I can see how long the frame takes to render. So if I know it's taking, let's say, a minute per frame, and if I had 72 frames, I know it would be done in 72 minutes. But if it's taking 10 minutes a frame, then it would take 720 minutes. And then I could divide that by 60 to figure out how many hours. And then I could just let my computer run and then come back when that's all done. So I'm just letting this Okay. So it's almost done here. Okay. Now it should be going on to the next one. And once again, just to verify this, I'm going to go ahead and open that up in Photoshop, turntable, the beauty, and nice. I can see that it is giving me you know, a blank background. That's what I want. And then over here, I can see that this is the ambient occlusion that's associated with it. And I'm just going to try multiplying that on. Multiply, yep makes it pop a little bit, great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let that render. And like I said, when that's all done, I'll get that image sequence and show you how to put that together using After Effects.